Hey, my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a week of dinners to share with you. Um, I feel like I'm pretty good about filming during the week, but then weekends, I, I don't know, I forget. I don't know. So there's a couple days in there where I have like a picture and I'm just explaining what we had because I completely forgot to film, but there are seven meal ideas for you to see. So um, if that interests you, please keep watching. Case in point on Monday, it was Remembrance Day. We went to a Remembrance Day service and then we did a bunch of chores at home. I completely forgot to even take a picture of our dinner or our video or anything. Here's a picture of a BLT I made in the past. We had BLTs for dinner. So on Tuesday, I planned to do a beef and butternut squash soup, but I just really didn't feel like cutting up a butternut squash. So instead, I found this recipe for a hamburger soup. There's all the ingredients I used. I started with cooking my beef, added in my veggies. I didn't have onions, so I didn't add those. And then I added in my beef broth, my tomato soup, and all my spices. And I actually ended up adding some Worcestershire as well. Then I added in my noodles to cook, and those took a few, at least a few minutes to get there. I was seriously so shocked by how much my kids liked this soup. Like, they all ate it, and they all took it for lunch the next day and loved it. So I recommend that, and it's nice and simple. On Wednesday, we did a quick pesto pasta with some salmon. I didn't even do veggies on this night because it was such a busy night with soccer practice and stuff. So yeah, nice, simple dinner. All right, for dinner tonight, sorry it's so dark in here, I made stir fry and I realized we were out of broccoli, but I just threw the veggies I did have. So I've got chicken, onions, green pepper, zucchini, and carrots in here. So it looks kind of random, but I'm confident it will taste good. And then we have some brown rice to go with that. And then this is the sauce that I used. Um, I, one of my kids, the picky, one of the pickier ones, if I put this on any meat, he's almost guaranteed to eat it. Salmon, chicken, whatever. So. I used that. And then I've got just some veggies set aside here without sauce or meat. That's for another picky kid. And yeah, that's dinner for tonight. And I'm going to get it plated up because it's a little behind schedule. All right. So it is Friday night. I will show you quickly what we're having. Usually I make burgers from scratch, but my sister wanted to get rid of some burger patties she got from Costco. They're the good ones that are just like ground beef and seasoning. So I grabbed those off of her, made it a little easier. So we've got burger patties. This is cut in half for the little boys already. A couple more going here. We have some buns, onion, lettuce, tomato. I made some Big Mac sauce with um, mayo and ketchup, relish, and a little bit of Worcestershire. We have some fries that are just about done. And then we also have some onion rings. I'll show you a picture of my finished plate once it's all done. So here's everything all laid out and ready to go. Seriously, these like homemade fast food dinners really hit the spot on our busy Fridays. We just, we love them and it saves us money on actual fast food. Here's my plate, delicious. All right, Saturday was such a huge fail. Um, well, our meal was fine, but we had steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans. I didn't even take a picture. I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm not great about um, documenting things on the weekends, but we had steak, mashed potatoes, and beans, and the kids had craft dinner. On Sunday, we had steak again because we had a huge pack to get through, and then I found this recipe online for, it was potatoes, green beans, and... Um, Sorry, I was editing that video and I ran out of time. But um, what I made on Sunday was I took the leftover green beans and potatoes. The recipe I found online called for diced cooked potatoes, green beans, a cream of chicken soup, and cheese. And you just kind of combine it, sprinkle the cheese on top and bake it as a casserole. And I figured I can make that with mashed potatoes. So I did that. It was okay. Um, I made my own cream of chicken soup, so it might not have been quite as flavorful. I do that with milk chicken broth I thicken it and add in some spices um yeah it was okay I feel like it was missing something like maybe sour cream or something like that so that it tasted more like hash brown casserole but everyone else really liked it so that was our week of dinners thanks so much for watching see you in my next video